Hey girls, Mr. Powell here, sitting out in my garden. It's just about to rain, I think, so I'm going to get this done quickly. Emma's already shown you how to get your tables of data together. Uh, what I want to quickly go over is how to get the graphing up to speed. First thing we do is select the data that we want to graph, and I'm just going to click and drag over our original data with our time and our heights at each particular interval. I go up to charts and I select scatter. Very important you select scatter graph and not line graph. And because I'm pretty smooth, I always like to select the smooth line scatter and you don't get the big points. So let's just make that a little bit larger and there you go. That's our first lot done. What we now need to do is superimpose this data, which is your trigonomic data or whatever it's called, the one with the cos equation or the sine equation, over the top of our actual times and tide heights. So I click in my chart and I right mouse click and I select select data. Then this particular box comes up and I'm wanting to add a new lot of data. I don't put anything up where it says chart data range, but I do click over here where it says name. And I know this one of Emma's is a cos equation, so I click on cos. I then click on x values, and I go over here and I select just the data, as in just the numbers for the x values. So I drag from 0 all the way down to 165.37. Then, for the y values, don't ask me why, but Excel always puts in this one in the funny brackets. You don't want it. So we have to delete that, make sure that's gone, and then we select our Y data. Just click and drag over the top of it. That's it. Looks pretty good to me, and we click OK. Now we have our data superimposed over the top of itself. Um, this works exactly the same way on Excel for the PC or Excel for the Mac. It's got the same menus and once you've finished that you can see up where it says charts, next to that is chart layout and you can add your chart title, got the title above the chart and you can put the axes on, axes below and you can have your legends at the right and the left and the top and you can put all the correct details in. Okay, hope that helps. Any problems, just email me. <laughs> email me. Cheers from Mr. Peel.